this is the video demonstration of how to configure a uh, capri portal on 40k firewall and the firmware version used here is 705 let's get started so this is my 40k firewall and on my screen you can see that my LAN port which is port 2 is connected to the client network and port 1 which is my WAN port connects to internet so the first step is to create the user inside user definition so in my case I'm going to create a user with the name test and it is going to be local user instead of using any remote user base click next type in the username which is going to be test and the password click next I do not need two-factor authentication so I'm going to click next and I'm going to add this user to the existing user group which is the default group so now you can see here the test user is attached to the guest group which is the default group so now you will have to come back to the interface and you'll have to make sure that the clients are getting the IP address from the LAN interface THCP scope so I'm going to first configure the THCP services so here you see the option DHCP server enable that and then you will have to configure the scope in my case I'll keep it as 10 10 10 20 until 21 because I'm going to test with one client and the subnet mask is 24 default gateway is same as LAN interface IP and the DNS IP is again the same LAN interface IP next is the option to enable the capri portal which is the security mode once you enable it you'll see capri portal and then the authentication portal so if you have any external capri portal url then you can copy paste the url here so that 40k you know contacts the external capri portal services and authenticate the client in our case it is going to be local so I'm keeping that option as local and the next option is to select the group so the user group is going to be the same group where our test user is listed and next comes the exemption for source destination or services I do not want any exemption I want all the clients to get authenticated before they access the resources so yeah and the last option is to redirect and I do not want to redirect the clients I would like them to use the same URL click OK to save the configuration and since I have DHCP option for the gateway as interface IP so I should have the DHCP services running on port LAN port which is port 2 so as you can see on the screen under DHC, DNS services I have listed the LAN port so that the client can get the names resolution from the LAN port next comes the policy which is just a allow policy to allow the traffic through the firewall and I'm going to just create a policy from port 2 to port 1 which is our external port and a basic interface based net for all source and for all destination services I'll set it to all for testing and then I'll save the policy configuration I guess uh, that that 
basically completes the cavity portal configuration on the FortiGate firmware. So now let's try to go to our client machine and this is the interface which connects to the FortiGate firewall and which is supposed to get the IP from the FortiGate firewall. So I just disable this and enable the adapter so that it can get the IP from the FortiGate firewall. And let's try to check the IP. As you can see, I'm getting the IP address from the 40 gate firewall 10 10 10 20, and you can see the gateway as 10 10 10 108, and the DNS server as 10 10 10 108. So the DHCP services are working fine. Let's try to do some NS lookup and try to ping. This is the default route. Now let's try to do some ping test. Before that, uh, you can see on my browser that I am getting a notification which says log into the network before I can access the internet. So this is because of the redirections that I'm getting from the 40 gate firewall. Whereas in it is redirecting me to the Capri portal URL. And you can clearly see that I'm not able to reach out to any of the websites. And I'm going to do the NS lookup for google.com. And let's see if my LAN interface is replying with the answer or not. As you can see, I'm getting the response from the LAN interface. Let's try to ping the Google website. So as you can see here, I'm not able to ping google.com. Let's try another website. Let's try facebook.com. So you can see here, I'm getting the resolution. Let's try to ping to confirm that we are not able to reach out to facebook.com. Okay. So I'll, I'll just have a continuous ping and then I'll go to the captive portal and authenticate myself with the credentials that we have created. So as you can see, as soon as I click on that notification and the link, it is taking me to the authentication portal. I'm using the same credential test and the respective password. It's still failing on command line. So let's try to authenticate. And on my screen, as you can see, the ping started booking. And on the browser, I'm able to load the websites. So that basically proves that the captive portal is allowing me to access the internet resources. On my firewall, if you go to the interface, you can see that I have a client connected to the DHCP scope, which proves that everything is working as per the configuration. And the policy as well shows the data. 
so that's all uh, in this video if you enjoyed it please give a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button see you in the next video bye